the following question reads that uh, the relative first ionization energies of four elements with consecutive atomic numbers below 20 are shown on the graph. Uh, so there are four elements and they have consecutive atomic numbers. And one of the element reacts with hydrogen to form a covalent compound with the formula HX, which basically means it could be it could be something like HCl. Uh, so generally, group seven form uh, compounds like this. Uh, it could be HF, or it could be, or it could be HCl. So with hydrogen, group seven generally forms uh, molecules of this type. So I'm suspecting that X is a group seven element. So which element could be X? So it's a it's it's probably a group seven element. Uh, so we're going to we're going to figure out which of these elements. The, their consecutive proton numbers and their ionization energies are given A, B and C and D and I need to figure out which of the elements is going to be from group 7 so I'm going to refer and remember this is an, this is these are consecutive atomic numbers these are the elements having consecutive proton numbers for example if this is uh, 16 then this is 17 this is 18 and this is 19 so I'm going to open up my chart for successive ionization energies according to atomic number uh, so these are all the atomic numbers given. These are the successive ionization energies plotted. If you if you remember the graph, this graph, uh, that particular graph that we uh, that we were given, it basically starts uh, from this point over here uh, till this point over here. It's it goes from uh, A was over here, then you had B, then you had C, and then you had D. Remember that. Uh, uh, when you're talking about uh, successive atomic numbers, this over here is one period. All these ionization energies are plotted according to period. So this is your noble gas. This is group zero. And after that, so the peak of the of the first ionization energies within a period, successive proton numbers, uh, group zero is going to have the highest ionization energy in its period. And then there's going to be a drop because you're going to group one. Group one has the lowest first ionization energy in its period and then the ionization energy start to rise again so this over here is group zero before that it's group seven so coming back to my graph this over here is group zero and then there's a fall so that means you're basically moving to the next period in the periodic table so this must be group one followed by group two and this element over here would be in group 7 so before group 0 or group 8 it's going to be group 7 now one thing uh, the formula of the compound is HX so I said group 7 it could also be group 1 over here as well but since he's talking about a covalent compound only group 7 non metals they are the ones that are going to form covalent compounds so the correct answer for this question is going to be option it's going to be option A